the lads and lassies are under the direction of Mrs. Shana Lane. trustees that are present this evening. These individuals are elected by the citizens of Donovan County to govern the college and to do so without compensation. Their interests are for the oversight of the ongoing operations of the college and creating a pathway for future success of our students. Present tonight are Tom Smith, our board chair from Highland, Jason Taylor from Highland, Kenneth Huss from Troy, Vernie Coy from Wathena, and Russell Karn from Highland. Also sitting with our board members is our guest speaker this evening, Mr. Orlando Rivera. <laughs> I'm very pleased to see so many students here tonight to participate in this ceremony. We recognize it's a special time for family and friends, and we appreciate them joining us on campus this evening. This is the third graduation ceremony Highland has held for the 2022 graduating class. Last week, ceremonies were held for our Atchison Technical Center graduates and our Western Center graduates. 360 students have applied for our graduation in 2022. We consider this a huge achievement with the struggles of the pandemic our students have faced in the last two years. We also want to acknowledge that some of our students did not have the opportunity to participate in a high school graduation. And we recognize tonight's ceremony is especially important to you. Now for our speaker. For the Highland Campus graduation, we like to invite a former student of Highland, and sometimes a politician. But this year, we sought someone that has been especially giving of their time 
and talents to their community and to our students. I'd like to welcome this evening's speaker, Mr. Orlando Ortiz Rivera. <laughs> Mr. Rivera is a husband to Adrian and a father to six beautiful children. And he is motivated to be the change he wants to see in the world. He is an intentional problem solver who desires to be the solution above all else. Currently, Mr. Rivera is pastoring Faith Walkers Outreach, a new church in Atchison, Kansas. His passion for pastoring began as a deep love for community service. He has faithfully served the Leavenworth community by volunteering at the Leavenworth Mission Food Pantry. He also contributes his time to Leavenworth Interfaith Community Hope Homeless Shelter, and he established YMDG, Young Men Determined to be Great, a mentorship program at his alma mater, Leavenworth High School. Mr. Rivera believes his mission is about service first, and sets out to daily pioneer various forms of helping others. In the spirit of creating more ways to serve, Faith Walkers Outreach is currently working on the Purpose House, a group home for homeless teenage girls. The home will serve teen girls without resources, without solid family structures, and provide them tools necessary for success. The church's group home desires to help build a solace foundation for them as they prepare to be productive, impactful members of society. The Purpose House gives hope, reveals identity, and launches purpose. Mr. Orlando Ortiz Rivera is proud to continue the work he has been given and hopes to aspire others to use their gifts to improve the world. Please welcome our speaker. Oh my God. If you guys didn't know, that's my cheering squad over there. Yeah. First and foremost, can I give honor to the 2022 class of Highland Community College? Can we make some noise for them? Come on, Highland, where you at? Come on, make some noise. You made it. Yeah. I give honor to the president, Ms. Fox. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, to Vice President Eric, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, to the board members, I give you honor. Thank you guys for having me. Can I say this one more time? Class of 2022, can y'all make some noise? Y'all are graduating. Y'all are done. It's over. No more. Oh, right. Come on, man. Hey, said thank God. All right? All right? The word I think of today, perseverance. Oh, yeah, you felt it, right? The definition is persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. I'm stuck right there, despite difficulty. The reason why you're sitting here right now is because despite difficulty, you persevered. And because you persevered, you're about to graduate. Despite what it looked like, despite what it felt like, despite what it seemed like, you said, I'm going to keep going. And because you kept going, guess what? Success is at your hands. And this is what I get excited about. If you made it this far, what's next? Oh, yeah, you felt it all right. You said, man, I graduated from high school. I'm going to take it up another notch. I'm going to go to college. And from here, what's next? I think about my daughter, Perseverance. I think about my daughter, April 1st. My wife, she's back there in the back. She's inside. My daughter, Miracle, was born on April Fool's Day this year. She came a week early. The doctor said that she wouldn't make it. 
that my wife's blood pressure was at 207. And because of that, they said they had to rush her into emergency surgery. Well, while I was there in the surgery room, y'all, I almost lost my mind. Because they said, Mr. Rivera, we have to tell you the bad news first. Some of y'all know what I mean. Come on. Some of you guys, this is the, what, maybe the, 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 the only, you're the only one that probably graduated from your, your family. The, the odds were against you that no one has ever gotten this far. How many guys have ever heard the bad news first? Come on. That, that you're not smart enough, you're not intelligent enough, you're not focused enough. But how many of you guys right now sitting down, you're saying to yourself, you beat the odds that you were the underdog. Nobody expected you to get here. But guess what? You persevered and now you're here. Can you give it up for yourselves? Can you give it up for yourselves? And just like me in that emergency room, I said, I don't think I can do this. I'm hearing the bad news that your daughter might not live. That then the doctor came to me and he said that your wife's blood pressure can, is continuing to go up and that if she continues in this manner, that she can have a stroke. And so with those things being said to me, something supernatural raised up in me. My favorite scripture is Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him that is able, who? Jesus Christ. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask or even think. I said, God, if you can do this. And guess what, y'all? My wife and my child are sitting right there back in the back. Guess what the good news is? They made it. And just like you, something supernaturally told you, you can do this despite how hard the test was. Come on, some of y'all see athletes in here. Despite how hard it was, the workouts, all those things, you made it. You fought past what was difficult. I got some, some, a little secret for you. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Do you know you're special? You didn't just think it was going to be easy. You knew it was going to be hard. But the crazy thing is, why did you get it in your mind to keep going? Because guess what? You were created to do the unimaginable. That's why you kept going. You said, there is more to me than this. Can I help somebody right here? You said that the season finale isn't right now. No, there's more seasons to my life. There's another chapter to my life. And guess what some of y'all are getting in your minds right now? Hey, Mr. Orlando, I'm not done here. I'm going to go on to get my bachelor's degree. I'm going to go on to get my master's degree. I'm going to go on to get my doctorate. Guess what? Despite the difficulty, despite what it looks like, I was created to do more. Can I tell you guys a story of mine? I graduated from Leavenworth High School in 2006. Yeah, I know that was about Jesus, right? I hated school. Can I tell somebody I graduated with a 1.7? Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that's not good. Yeah, that means when I went across the stage, my principal told me, you barely made it. But you made <laughs> I said, really? Yeah, yeah. I was the one that had a, a, uh, a unique seat in ISS. It was to the wall because I always was talking. And so now it throws me off because here I was, a kid that hated school. I hated, I don't know if anybody else is like this, I hated to read, even though reading is fun to your mental, but I hated it. I said, I hated, man, school, all of those things. But here it is now, because despite the difficulty now, on my birthday, I'll be releasing my first book. Oh, yeah. Because what? I believed in myself. And that's what I'm here to tell you guys. 
Believe in yourself. Believe in what? Believe in the impossible. Believe that there's more. Believe that you can do over and beyond. Here I am now, pastor in the greatest church in Kansas. Here I am now, about to write bestsellers. Next year, I'm going to write my own movie. Y'all ain't going to say that. I said, I'm going to go and stretch myself as far as I can. I'm telling you guys, you can do it too. This is not where it has to stop. You were created to not only do the unimaginable, but see the unimaginable. One more thing I have to say. That this right here is a moment for you to think. Think what, Mr. Orlando? What, what am I thinking on? I need you to think. When I look back and I see where I came from, and now, today, as I graduate, what does that say about me? What am I thinking of? What does that say? That says that you are more than a conqueror. That says that you are more than what you thought. What everyone else has thought. You superseded what, what everything around you said, what, what you wouldn't supersede. You did it. So guess what? I'm telling you right now, keep going. On the other side of hard is success. On the other side of hard is success. How do I know? I'm living the dream. Last year, we came here, me and about 10, 10 people, 10, 10 team members, and we started a small Bible study Last year, we attended this very ceremony. But because I pushed, because I believed, because I knew there was more to me than this, I'm here today speaking before all you great people. I didn't ask for this. I said, Eric, why? He said, because you're created for this, Orlando. And I'm telling you tonight that you are created for better. And guess what? This is the beginning of better, not worse. It's not downhill from here. It's uphill from here. But the question is, do you believe it first? Don't let anybody else believe it. You believe it. And watch what happens. Come on, let's give it up for the 2022 class. How the community college make some noise? Thank you. I love y'all. Let's take our chances. 
On the occasion of their 50th wedding anniversary, Dr. Herbert and Emily Lucas Bruning were surprised by their family and friends with the creation of the Bruning Award at Howling Community College. Dr. and Mrs. Bruning were charter members of the HCC Foundation Board and spent their adult lives supporting education. The last year's recipient of this award was our history and English instructor, Michael Kelly. This year's recipient will be using his award to research the direct relationship between classroom attendance and the final student's grade at HCC. He will use research to develop a statistical model to forecast the student's final grade. The recipient of this year's Bruning Award is Lighten Hassan. The Bauer Memorial Award was established in the memory of the late Virgil Bauer and his wife Lou Bauer. The Bowers were 1941 graduates of Highland Community College and have been continuous supporters of HCC. The Bauer family has provided contribution in Virgil's and Lou's names to provide support to the HCC faculty in their professional development. This year's Bauer Memorial Award recipient plans to attend the Vinod Nord Conference in Burlington, Vermont in December 2022. Vinod Nord will focus on the unique challenges of growing cold climate grapes, making wine, as well as addressing grape growing in a changing climate, marketing for smaller wineries, and pushing the boundaries of winemaking strategies. The recipient of a Bauer Memorial Award is Nicole Clark. Some of you may not know that we produce our own wine. <laughs> now to the graduates. As each graduate is introduced today, many special honors will be announced along with their names. Let me give you a description of those honors. Those who are listed as president's list have completed all coursework to date with a straight A, 4.0 community grade point average. These students are also wearing honor cords. Those who are listed as dean's list have completed all coursework to date with a 3.5 or better GPA. Phi Theta Kappa is the national two-year honor society. Members must have achieved at least a 3.5 grade point average and invited to join Phi Theta Kappa. These students have an asterisk beside their name in the program and many are wearing PTK stoles this evening. Students wearing black and red cords are students that are active in our Student Support Services Program. These students have taken the initiative to seek additional support from the college community and in return have achieved their goal of a college degree. And now Mrs. Kibbe will recommend the candidates for graduation. Will the students who are candidates for the Associate of Arts degree please stand?
Would the students who are candidates for the Associate in Science degree please stand? Would the students who are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science please stand? Would the students who are candidates for the Associate in General Studies please stand? I recommend these candidates for graduation to the Highland Community College Board of Trustees. <laughs> As authorized by the Board of Trustees, the Kansas Board of Regents, and the Higher Learning Commission, I accept the candidates as approved by the Dean of Instruction for the degrees now named. Teresa Grossman, a member of the HCC faculty, will be announcing the names of our graduates. Logan Elizabeth Renee Kusick, Associate in General Studies. <laughs> William Agnew, Associate in General Studies. <laughs> Gabriel A. Amadis Gonzalez, Associate in Arts. Kylie Nicole Anderson, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice, Phi Theta Kappa. Kylan Jerez Andrus, Associate in Arts. Rosa Maria Anguiano, Associate in Arts. Jessica Asbury, Associate in Science. Jorge Burgos, Associate in Arts, PTK. Ian Barjell, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Aiden Riley Bass, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Emily Rose Batty, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Cody M. Bell, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Emily Jane Beckman, Associate in Arts. Preston P. Boyd, Associate in Arts. Tierra Tonyel Lee Brown, Associate in Applied Science, Personal Fitness Trainer. Marie, Mariah Nicole Broxterman, Associate in Science, President's List, Phi Theta Kappa. Andrew Collison Brubeck, Associate in Arts. Jake Bukovetsky, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Rudy Sula J. Bucknell, Associate in Arts. Yeah. 
Panay Carmen, Associate in General Studies. Kayla Carmen, Associate in Science. Jessica Clark, Associate in Arts. Stephanie Lynn Clearwater, Associate in Arts. Alfred Cole, Associate in Arts. Victoria Lynn Francis Conroy, Associate in Arts. Rachel Ann Crawley, Associate in Science, Phi Theta Kappa. John, Johnny Curtis Parker, Associate in General Studies. Oh, Alyssa Dollinghouse, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Jesse Renee Davison, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Coding. Michael Debus, oh, yeah, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Cassandra Del Toro, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Shelby Denton, Associate in Science. Emily Essenam Dog Betsy, Associate in Arts, President's List. Jared Dooley, Associate in Arts. Stephanie J. Eagle, Associate in Arts. Perla Enriquez Pina, Associate in Arts. Samantha Diane Estes, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Coding. Kirsten Ann Finch, Associate in Arts. Kendrick Michael Fontenot, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Beth Ann Gerstner, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Coding. Colin Charles Gilbert, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Maria Andrea Gonzalez, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Anthony Gabriel Grumblatt, Associate in Arts. Wakanda Leonardo Gutierrez, Associate in Arts. Madison Riley Harveston, Associate in Arts. Patrice Hart, Associate in Arts. Tyler Heinen, Associate in Applied Science, Precision Agriculture.
Trey Henry, Associate in General Studies. Gabrielle Leone Michelle Herrera, Associate in Arts. Caleb Holthouse, Associate in Arts. Alicia Hoskin, Associate in Arts. Brayden Halstoff, Associate in Science. Caleb Hunley, Associate in Arts. Kinsley Anna Jane Jackson, Associate in General Studies. Liam Jones, Associate in Arts. Haley Marie Jacobs, Associate in Science. Morgan Lynn Jamble, Associate in General Studies. Bailey Ann Jeske, Associate in Science. Rhonda J. Wells Johnson, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration. <laughs> Sydney Jones, Associate in Science. Associate in Arts. Hope Elizabeth Kiebert, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Stephen Matthew Keach, Associate in Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Business and Accounting. Alyssa Marie Keller, Associate in Arts. Taylor Kettle, Associate in Science. Summer Kirkman, Associate in Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Simone Cole, Associate in Science. Simon Reed Lackey, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Hannah Jean Lawrence, Associate in Science. Lakin Reese Leupold, Associate in Science, President's List. Salem Helen Liebenthal, Associate in Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Melinda Lopez, Associate in Arts. Harrison Loudon, Associate in Science, President's List.
Gabriel Eduardo Martinez, Associate in Science. Ashley Dawn Maxwell, Associate in Science. Mary Catherine McCullough, Associate in Arts. Yvonne Medina, Associate in Arts. Diabiance Miller, Associate in Arts. Holly Jean Mitchell, Associate in General Studies. Holden E. Mundy, Associate in Arts. Cynthia Jeanette Murphy, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Yi Katarina Nichitalo, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Coding. Caitlin Rose Nelson, Associate in Science. Ashton Pate, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science. Darius Donye Pearsall, Associate in Arts. Taylor Christine Margaret Payton, Associate in Arts. Bryce Phillips, Associate in Arts. Yeah, Bryce! Megan Jane Pitts, Associate in Science. Ward Richardson, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Justin Edward Ricketts, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Hannah Kate Reedy, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, President's List, Phi Theta Kappa. Deja Lynn Saili, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Kali A. Saili III, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Abigail Raylin Scheidemann, Associate in Arts. Catherine Elaine Schmelsley, Associate in Arts. Kobe B. M. Schroeder, Associate in Arts. Hannah Renee Ling Schnacker, Associate in Arts. Abigail Lynn Smith, Associate in Arts. Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Carolyn Jean Smith, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Talisha A. Smith, Associate in General Studies. Carlos J. Soriana Matos, Associate in Arts. Aliyah Rachel Stagenborg, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science. Gabriel Starlin Jr., Associate in Arts. Ivy 
Lane Stone, Associate in Arts. Lander Oswaldo Suarez Martinez, Associate in Arts. Whitney Sunderman, Associate in Arts. Brianna D. Urich, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Raya Majestic Vanetti, Associate in Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Stephanie Marie Vanetti, Associate in Science. Blake Wampler, Associate in Science. Yeah, boy! Morgan Renee Wickeiser, Associate in Science. Charmaine Wilkins, Associate in Science. Alexis N. Wilson, Associate in Arts, President's List, Phi Theta Kappa. Melanie Marie Wilson, Associate in General Studies. Dana Elizabeth Windmeyer, Associate in Arts. Stacy Lynn Womack, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice, Phi Theta Kappa. Xandria Zimmerman, Associate in Science. to introduce Mrs. Kelly Twombly, Director of Alumni Relations with Highland Community College, to deliver a special message to the graduates. On behalf of the Highland Community College Alumni Association, I congratulate all of you on this significant milestone. Today, you are joining more than 18,000 members of our alumni family. HCC alumni live in more than 20 countries and in nearly every state, including more than 14,000 here in the state of Kansas. All over the world, Scotties are making significant contri contributions to their professions and the communities they live in. Highland University, now Highland Community College, is only two years older than the state of Kansas itself, being established in 1858, beginning as a dream of Father Samuel Irvin in 1837. An early philosopher at the college stated, it is our belief at Highland Community College that every individual has worth Therefore, we shall attempt to provide each individual with the educational opportunities needed to develop his or her potential. 
Our alumni have helped build facilities on our various campuses, provide services to our students and staff, and continue to hire our graduates. Currently, HCC employs 52 alums. Highland Community College continues to bring incredible joy to me, and I hope it will do the same for you. During my time as a student in the 80s, and still many years later, I continue to witness HCC alumni supporting other alumni and our students. It is a privilege to welcome you into this large family. I encourage you to remain actively engaged with your Scotty Nation by being a member of the HCC Alumni Association. You have been given a complimentary one-year membership to include all the benefits of the membership. We will keep you informed about the college and encourage you to be involved in activities both at this location as well as other communities. As you celebrate this day and move into the next phase of your life and career, please don't forget where you started. Remember those that invested their time and talent into your education and know that you will forever be a valued member of our family. Once again, congratulations graduates and welcome to the HCC alumni family. Your fellow alums, including myself, are rooting for you and wishing you nothing but success in your future endeavors. Go Scotties! Thank you to the families, friends, and supporters who are responsible for the success of our graduates. To the graduates, as you leave Highland and continue on in your education or to the workplace, the people of Highland Community College wish you well on your journey. We want you to look back at your time in Highland and hold fond memories of the friendships you made and the time you had here at Highland Community College. We hope we have enriched your lives as much as you have enriched ours. You are now forever a Scotty. Friends and family, you are welcome to join the graduates on the front of the campus for a reception. Mrs. Kibbe and Dr. Engmeyer, please lead out the graduates. Thank uh -huh. 